Uber and Lyft both want to push EVs to all drivers in the coming years, but they are expensive and pretty much out of reach for several drivers. So they have to come up with ways to incentivize drivers and also help offset some of the costs. What happens when Uber and Lyft come up with different ideas to try to offer drivers to be able to take advantage of that? And then what if one of these companies could actually, well, pay off a substantial portion of an EV? Would it make it more attainable or not? Lyft might just have done that. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. Now we wanna make sure that we bring you all up-to-date information when it comes to what Uber, Lyft, and other companies are doing, including Lyft's new EV bonus for electric vehicles and giving so many rides per week. And before we get into what the program actually is, I wanna ask you this, so keep this in mind while we're going over the program, and that is, will this particular program help sway you to get an EV? Or would you stick with something like a hybrid or something that you already own, like a gas-powered car? And of course, share your thoughts in the comments. All right, so what you're looking at right now is a screenshot of the Lyft app in California, and that's important in a second. And this is the $150 electric vehicle bonus, and it says how it works. Complete 50 EV rides in a week. Unlock the bonus by giving rides with a qualifying electric vehicle. Rides must be given in California. Big thing is this program is in California where they're testing it out. Number two, get paid. You're gonna see a $150 bonus after you complete 50 EV rides in one week. And then number three, you can repeat this until December, 2024. The bonus will be offered weekly until December 29th, 2024. And drivers who participate can earn a maximum of $8,100. So just a little bit more on the Lyft EV credit. Drivers in California who register their EVs on the platform by the end of 2023 can earn an extra $150 every week if they give 50 rides in their vehicles until the end of 2024. The program has a cap of $8,100. A spokesperson tells Fast Company that Lyft is testing the program in California since the state has the company's largest EV market. So going back to that question, would this sway you to get an EV for giving 50 rides on the platform per week to get a max of $8,100, which could offset a substantial portion of getting an electric vehicle. Same thing when it comes to tying it with Uber's little incentive of going green and getting an EV. And of course, what are your overall thoughts of this program? Do you think this is superior to Uber's offering? Or do you think this is just something that, well, it's not gonna make a difference for you? Now, I know this is rolled out in California. They're testing it there, so that means if it is successful, then they will start rolling it out to other areas in the country and hopefully nationwide. So it could be something that could potentially affect you. And hopefully they'll adjust the dates. So if they do this, say six months from now, where they roll it out into other states or nationwide, hopefully they'll adjust that. So instead of December 29th, 2024 is where it ends, they would push it to you know that time frame in 2025. So people in particular areas that don't have access to that can actually kind of offset between those times. But what do you think? $150 extra per week? That could be a car payment there, at least for $8,100 worth. And that brings up another question for drivers outside of California. Would you wanna see this program and would you take advantage of it? Or again, would you continue driving what you may have driven something similar if you had to get a new car or go with a hybrid or something else? Make sure you comment below and let us know. Now, if you're driving rideshare or food delivery or just in the gig economy itself, and you're looking or thinking about an EV, but you're not really sure you're still on the fence and you want more information basically from drivers who have EVs, well, the Rideshare Guide does have an EV Facebook group. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can check that out and talk to people who have electric vehicles and see what their thoughts are when it comes to driving Uber, Lyft, and other companies within the gig economy. And if you're wondering what's the best EV to get for a driver, could this car be it? Well, check it out. Gabe is gonna tell you the pros and cons of that. And is it the best EV for Uber and Lyft drivers? Also, click that subscribe button right there if you haven't already. And drive smart, everyone.